Okay, apparently if you don't delete the videos out of your trash, they still take up a bunch of space and cut you off halfway through your video. So this is number three. Uh, this is my Lynn Lumber Model 190A, 190A sawmill. The mill is built in, I believe, Sweet Home, Oregon, and was uh, sent to me here in Ohio. The carriage was in the raw, so I painted and assembled. So tonight, we will be continuing on with the fixed log clamps that will be welded to the bunk. I finished the sliding clamps last night slash this morning. Got some paint on this morning. Um, had a bit of an issue that I was waiting to hear back from when the when the uh, carriage was built the saw frame was built these holes originally were located in this position when they needed to be here so the entire saw frame was offset two and a half inches to the right which would have allowed my cant to be clamped roughly in line with the bolt of the roller wheel so yeah no good when that would have happened because it would have uh, we had clearance issues so that was remedied we took care of that I drilled and uh, tapped new holes today so again we're gonna be welding up the fixed clamps and also if I have time this evening we will be taking this old Honda GX390, which has roughly 40 hours of runtime. This came off of our log splitter that uh, that I used to use. I split everything by hand now because I only need like two and a half, three cords of wood instead of 14 that we used to feed an outside wood burner at the old house. So anyways, this guy here will be getting mounted to this guy, who will then be getting mounted back on to here. Uh, the only other issue I've got going on at the time is the hydraulic fitting that threads into the back of this tensioning cylinder leaks. Calls for 1040 motor oil for a hydraulic fluid and I'm using 520, but I don't believe that to be the actual issue because that fitting does not leak at all. So hopefully get this done, I'll be able to measure for the drive belt. And I believe... The manual shows a BX73 belt, so we'll see. But here's my track. There's the carriage. And together, hopefully, they will make lumber for me. Um, this is a 20-foot track. I don't really plan on cutting anything longer than 16 feet for construction purposes, for my own purposes at least. So this is what we've got, and I believe that'll do it for tonight. Have a good night.